There's a massive backlash swelling against a George Soros-funded Democrat who's trying to prosecute the armed couple who defended themselves from a Black Lives Matter mob. In this video, we're going to take a look at the insanity that's taken over the Democrat-ruined city of St. Louis, but more importantly, how the Republicans who dominate the state of Missouri are rising up to defend the armed couple and crush the far left circuit attorney. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Greetings everyone, <laughs> Dr. Steve here with you, coming to you from beautiful Outer Banks in North Carolina. I'm here with my family, we're having a wonderful time. I know it's a little echoey in this room, I'm sorry for that, but I did not want to miss a day where we analyze current events, analyze some super awesome conservative trends so you can live in the present line of even better things to come. So if you haven't already done so, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. It'd be an absolute privilege to have you as a regular part of this channel as we daily celebrate the inevitable collapse of left-wing globalism and the unstoppable rise of a new conservative age. Now, before we dive in here, let's give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, the founder of our feast, and that's Prepper's Peak new solar water heater. Now, with all of the lockdowns that we witnessed over the last few months, this solar water heater can turn out to be our best friend. The solar water heater is an amazing device that allows you to heat and boil water outdoors using simply sunlight. It can heat water in as little as 30 minutes. It'll work anywhere the sun shines. You can boil water, you can cook noodles, right? Uh, you can sterilize water for drinking. It's easy to clean. It can be used anywhere there's sunlight. And the best part is that if you click on the link below, you get 15% off. So what can be better? So don't wait. Click on that link below before they sell out and get your own Patriot Sun Cooker today. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. Again, one of the themes that we've been focusing on for the last several weeks are the various ways in which Americans are rising up and fighting back against all the race riots and insane insurrection against our police forces and the rule of law. And once again, we're seeing the fact that Republicans, when all said and done, are the only ones standing between us and the Marxist mobs cheered on by our mainstream Marxist media. And the latest example, this massive backlash, is happening in St. Louis, Missouri. Now, as I'm sure many of you know by now, several weeks back, at the height of the race riots, a St. Louis couple by the name of Mark and uh, Patricia McCloskey were caught on camera defending their home from a bunch of Black Lives Matter demonstrators who the McCloskeys claim were indeed threatening them. Now, of course, the left-wing activists disguised as journalists over at CNN were utterly incensed by this. Chris Fredo Cuomo ripped McCloskey for having the gall to actually exercise his constitutional rights against such a peaceful and loving social justice movement that wasn't bothering anyone. They were just having their wonderful, peaceful march. Now, keep in mind, this is the same Chris Cuomo who just days prior to that asked rhetorically, whoever said that protests were supposed to be peaceful. This is the absurdity that we're dealing with when it comes to the mainstream Marxist media. Folks, this is a major CNN anchor, Chris Fredo Cuomo. An anchor out of one side of his mouth actually expects protests to be violent and unruly. And then on the other side of his mouth, he blasts homeowners for protecting themselves from the very violence and unrest that Chris Cuomo himself defended and advocated. It was beyond insane. Well, as of just a couple of days ago, you want other insanity. The ultra-left circuit attorney of St. Louis, Kim Gardner, filed federal charges against the couple for illegally brandishing a weapon during what she called a peaceful protest. This is just so Orwellian. I mean, according to Democrat logic, which I know is an oxymoron, but according to this Democrat, Kim Gardner, and I'm quoting from the repo reported charges against this couple, quote, it is illegal to wave weapons in a threatening manner at those participating in nonviolent protests. And while we are fortunate this situation did not escalate into deadly force, this type of conduct is unacceptable in St. Louis. We must protect the right to peacefully protest and any attempt to chill it through intimidation will not be tolerated. Now again, just to show you how Orwellian this is in describing this protest as quote, peaceful, this Soros-backed left-wing activist disguised as a circuit attorney omitted the fact 
that the St. Louis riots just days before these so-called peaceful protesters stormed this gated community, this private community where the McCloskeys live, she conveniently omitted the fact that the riots in St. Louis were the occasion for the murder of retired St. Louis police officer David Dorn. I mean, isn't that interesting, right? You have a retired police officer who's working as a security guard responding to a call that a pawn shop was being looted in St. Louis, and he's shot to death in the process. And then, when a couple seeks to defend themselves from what they perceive to be a riotous crowd, uh, who were an extension of that kind of murderous violence they saw just days before in their own backyard, this left-wing activist disguised as a circuit attorney turns around and declares the mob peaceful and the couple a menace to society. Now, if you don't know, and you could probably have guessed it by now, this Democrat, Kim Gardner, she's actually a George Soros-backed government official, okay? She's reported to have received nearly $80,000 in contributions from the Missouri Justice Public Safety PAC, which has links to Soros for her 2020 campaign. They contributed to her 2016 campaign as well. She's an ultra leftist who's become infamous for racking up a backlog of cases of dozens of homicides that have yet to be prosecuted. Her office is clearly incompetent. And though she has yet to prosecute a single homicide case that's among that number of cases that are backlogged, given that, it should infuriate you even more to know that she has accelerated this case against the McCloskeys. I mean, if this isn't proof that this is nothing more than the weaponizing of the law in order to enact a political hit job against this couple, I have no idea what would be. But here's the wonderful news. There is no way that this leftist activist disguised as a public servant is going to get away with it. The entire Republican establishment in Missouri is coming to the rescue of the McCloskeys. The Republican Attorney General of Missouri, Eric Schmidt, has declared this is nothing less than a political hit job against the McCloskeys, and he is officially filing for the charges against them to be dismissed. He reiterated that as the state's top lawyer, the couple had every right on earth to brandish their weapons in the midst of such violence that swept across our Democrat-ruined cities. And even if this were to go to trial and the couple were to be convicted, which is very difficult to believe in conservative Missouri, but even if that were to happen, the Republican governor of Missouri, Mike Parson, has said that he will most definitely issue the couple an official pardon. He has stated unequivocally that they are law-abiding citizens who are being attacked by a political witch hunt that is deliberately attempting to silence the opposition against this insane left-wing lunacy. And now, Senator Josh Hawley, who's an up-and-coming nationalist populist leader, he's really, really wonderful, he's one of Missouri's senators, now he's coming out and officially calling on Attorney General Bill Barr to launch a federal investigation into this leftist activist circuit attorney, Kim Gardner. Hawley's actually accusing her of violating the McCloskey civil rights and deliberately weaponizing the law to target them in an effort to silence the conservative majority against this mob of protesters. So Hawley is pushing a civil rights probe into the St. Louis prosecutor, effectively putting her on trial, which is really excellent to see. Would it not be amazing that the end, at the end of all this, it's the leftist activist circuit attorney who's the one getting prosecuted? So we'll certainly be keeping our eyes on how things develop here. But at this point, the McCloskeys have the entire Republican establishment in Missouri on their side. And as such, there's absolutely no question that we are indeed beginning to see a massive backlash going on in Missouri and indeed throughout our entire nation where race rioting mobs are about to get a taste of their own medicine. Now, before you go, you'll definitely want to check out my video. I just uploaded it on a federal judge's son getting shot and killed and her husband critically wounded just days after the judge was assigned to a case related to the notorious Jeffrey Epstein. It's very intriguing, to say the least. So make sure to click on that link, and I'll see you over there. God bless.